my yoga teacher's from the south and he promised me that if you eat collard greens and black eyed peas on new year's eve you'll have a prosperous new year the collard greens represent money and the black eyed peas represent prosperity whether it brings prosperity or not, this recipe is loaded with health benefits, which we could all use in the new year. Stick around and I'll explain all the health benefits as you cook along with me. Welcome to Cat's Vegan Kitchen. If you find value in this recipe, remember to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up so you never miss a recipe. One thing you want to do before we start this recipe is you want to take a cup of black eyed peas and you want to soak them overnight. If you don't have time for that step, you can always use canned black eyed peas. I'm gonna use about two and a half cups cooked. If you watch my channel, you know I use a lot of avocado oil because I love the buttery flavor. Today, I'm going to use coconut oil and it gives a really nice flavor to this dish. I'm going to take about a tablespoon of oil and just let it melt in the bottom of my pan. If you use coconut oil, please use extra virgin coconut oil because it won't give a coconutty flavor. Next, I'm gonna add in one diced yellow onion. Now, I'm going to toss my onion, then I'm gonna add in one quarter teaspoon of cloves. Cloves are important in this recipe, but they're also really strong, so we don't wanna over add them. Something I learned recently is cloves go bad if you don't use them up. It's one of those ingredients we only use small amounts of. So make sure your cloves didn't turn bitter while they were sitting in your pantry. And then I'm gonna pour my black eyed peas right into that mixture. Notice I'm not letting my onions saute down much at all. This is more of a stew, so we're going to let it cook all together. Now my black eyed peas have been soaking, like I mentioned, but they're definitely not cooked. And then I'm going to add in six cups vegan chicken broth. The kind of broth you use definitely matters. I love this brand, no one pays me to say that. It definitely is going to make a difference in the flavor of your dish. I'm gonna add in a half teaspoon of allspice and I'm also going to add in about a half teaspoon of pepper, black pepper. Now this is a soup so or a stew, so as it's cooking and once it's all done, you really have to taste for spice level, salt, pepper, See if you need more cloves or allspice. Once all my spices are in here, I'm going to turn my heat to about medium heat. I'm going to bring my stew to a boil. If you notice my stew is boiling, I'm gonna add in my secret ingredient. It's one and a half teaspoons of liquid smoke. This is a meatless collard greens recipe. Usually there's ham or bacon in it. That liquid smoke gives it that delicious smoky flavor. Well, I'm gonna turn it down and let it simmer for about an hour and a half. While it does that, I'm going to keep it partially covered and I'm gonna watch it and make sure the water level doesn't get too low. Typically, I don't show you how to chop vegetables in my videos because I think it's a waste of time. But greens can be a little tricky, so I'm gonna just show you how I chop up my greens. I pull the stems off with my fingers like that, set them aside. I told you that this recipe will bring you prosperity in the new year. Maybe you believe that, maybe you don't, but I can tell you it will bring you good health in the new year for sure. So eating a plant-based diet is really one of the healthiest diets you can eat. Um, that is based on nutritional science, not just my own opinion. But there are some things in a plant-based diet that can be tricky to get, like calcium or iron. And the collards in this recipe are a really great source of vitamin K, calcium, and vitamin C. And the black-eyed peas are an amazing source of calcium, iron, and vitamin K. So this dish is gonna be rich in calcium, it's going to be rich in iron. Those are two things that can be tricky to get on a vegan diet. And it's also going to be a decent source of protein because of the black eyed peas. You saw me chop my greens in a horizontal fashion. I want these to be small, so then I'm going to turn my little pile of greens sideways and I'm just going to chop them vertically as well so we get nice small pieces of greens. It's really important that you wash your greens really well. Greens can have a lot of sediment on them. It takes our stew about an hour and a half to cook. So while we're doing, waiting for that to cook, we're gonna cook up our greens. 
I also mentioned that I like to add this, put this over rice, so I'm cooking my rice in the background as well. Once again, I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of coconut oil. Definitely use something with a high smoke point. That means an oil that doesn't burn. Once my oil is nice and sizzly, I am going to add in four cloves of garlic. We want those chopped up really nicely. While I'm waiting for my garlic to cook up, I'm gonna add in a dash or two of crushed red pepper. Doesn't take the garlic long to get fragrant. That was about 60 seconds and I can smell it and it smells delightful. So I'm going to add in my greens. I used two bunches of collard greens. That's gonna be about eight cups of chopped greens. And I just toss them a little with my spatula to coat them with that beautiful garlicky mixture. Greens are so healthy for you and I know people think they don't like them, but they really just don't know how to cook them. Greens are always really delicious when you cook them with garlic. I love adding tomatoes to greens. They're really a nutrient powerhouse. Once I'm satisfied that my greens have been tossed with the garlic mixture, I'm going to add about a cup or a half cup of water. That's just going to be there so the greens can wilt down. We're gonna let them wilt down for about 20 to 30 minutes. We're gonna add in our final green ingredient and I'll show you how to combine the whole dish to make it super fantastic and delicious. Okay, my greens have been cooking about 20 minutes and it's time to do a greens check. Now, you know, I've been checking these the whole time. If you learn anything from me, please learn that you should always be tasting your food. ABT, always be tasting your food. I didn't put any salt on these. I'm gonna sprinkle them with a dash of salt and I'm going to sprinkle a dash of liquid smoke. Now my greens are done. So I'm going to just cover them and let them sit. My beans cooked for about an hour and a half and they're nice and tender and ready. Look at how much they cooked down, quite a bit since when we started. I'm gonna show you how I like to put this together. I like to start with a base of rice and then I add my delicious garlicky greens. Remember, I've been tasting this the whole way. I did add a little bit more liquid smoke to my greens. And then I'm gonna add a generous scoop of my black eyed peas. Make sure to get some of that really good liquid in there because that is where all the flavor is. There you go, a delicious bowl of prosperity and health for the new year. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time on Cat's Vegan Kitchen.